Ladies and gents, welcome to What's Up Wednesday. This is week number 17. It is June 20th. Welcome. My name is Craig. My name is Craig, and we are at track three. We have talked a lot this year about track four for obvious reasons. We wanted to get over here to track three and let you know what all is going on. Uh, as you may know, we built last year a lot of new things, including a big one at track four. We built a lot of new things here at track three we want to tell you about. So track three facility, 2505 West 76 Country Boulevard, if you want to put that in your GPS. Track three was our first facility 31 years ago, 31. This track right here was the only thing that existed. We didn't have the building yet. We opened it up Memorial Day of 1981, and we've come a long way from there. Um, we're gonna show you now the Sprint track, which was new in 2011. Um, first of all, because there tends to be a little confusion, we're gonna show you what the Sprint track is not. So we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate that now. Go ahead. On your mark, get set, go! Yes! Good job! Way to go guys! Okay, so that is exactly what the sprint track is not. The sprint track is also not a kid's track. Uh, when you walk up to this track because of its size, there's a little confusion. I want to introduce you to Jim Hendricks, our Director of Operations here at Track 3. Say hello, Jim. Hello. All right. So, uh, is there confusion sometimes about the sprint track? Yes, there is. All right. So, yeah, people walk by because it's small. They think it's a, like a rookie track or a kiddie track or something. Um, what, in fact, it is is a 275 linear foot uh, track where our speed is turned up on our go-karts. Uh, what else about it? Really banked corners and really sharp corners. Banked corners, sharp corners. It's the fastest go-karts we have, and actually you have to have a driver's license to drive them. So your kids get to actually watch you have some fun instead of you watching them. Um, so now we're going to show you what the sprint track really is. So here we go. for like three minutes so uh, Jim Bob what is this this track right down here the one below is called the road course uh, it was also built in 2011 uh, what's what makes it different from the classic track our regular track that we first built oh, it has a foot long bridge it also has some pretty sharp and steep corners we're running twin engine carts on it and it actually is a little bit faster than it so yeah, this track has twin engine carts, which you don't see very often anymore. Uh, really keeps the speed up, 
there's like he said, it's more bank turns, uh, kind of like this track, but the tight turns and all that kind of thing. Um, so the road course track also new. How many go-karts does it have on it? We have 28 carts on it versus the classic we're running 16. So we can run a lot more carts on the road course track. It has it, uh, not driver's license required. It's the normal 54 inches tall, 36 inch to be a passenger. Obviously there's uh, two seater carts there. We're gonna head up to Kids Country, which also got kind of a, over, uh, a makeover last year. We're gonna use some of our fine crew members to demonstrate something up here as well. So Kids Country was built in 85, 1985. Um, some of the original rides are here. We just get, they get redone every year. You guys go ahead and load up where you're headed. Um, obviously we've got the train here, been here a long time. It's a classic. Um, the teacups, which were here before. Uh, one new ride, if you could zoom up there, is this, this was new in 2011, a pirate ship a pirate, excuse me, a swinging pirate ship. Uh, it's kind of like the, just a smaller version of the big ones you see at some of the big theme parks. Uh, this track over here became our kitty go-kart track, which is the four years and 38 inches and up go-kart track. And the track that's beyond the teacups over here became uh, the rookie track, which is the 48 inch and tall uh, go-kart track. So we changed things up and then new in 2012 is the Frog Hopper. Here we're gonna have some of our employees act like four-year-olds. Shouldn't be hard. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So they're gonna uh, demonstrate the Frog Hopper here. We're going through all the safety procedures that they always do. Are you kids ready to have fun? Yeah! All right, here we go. So this is the Frog Hopper. We're gonna show it to you. Go right ahead. <laughs> now keep in mind, this is for... <laughs> look at that, did not look like a good time. One person's gonna have to get off. Okay, hold on. Again, we're simulating four-year-olds average age riding, so we're, we're gonna... We're within the uh, total weight limit there, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and really simulate the ride now. How's that for a deal? All right, try that. We couldn't get any four-year-olds out here at nine in the morning, so we we're. Yay! Oh wow! <laughs> Ryan, take it easy on lunch today, will you? <laughs> There you go. Again, just a miniature version of some that you've probably seen at bigger theme parks across the country. And it is called the Frog Hopper. All right, scream like the kids usually do. <laughs> All right, so come back over here. All right, so Jim, thanks for your time this morning. Um, I'm glad that we removed a person so that you could actually see what this ride was supposed to do. Again, track three facility, which is the first one you come to off of Highway 65. Uh, there's obviously one we didn't mention that you can kind of pan over there real quick too is the Wild Woody, which was our second wooden go-kart track and a heck of a lot of fun. So uh, thank you guys for showing up on this Wednesday and we will see you next week.